there should be. But on November 7, President Trump tweeted, and I quote, I won this election by a lot, end quote. Obviously, that's not true. President Trump lost the election. The warning label that Twitter has applied to the tweet says, and I quote, official sources may not have called the race when this was tweeted, end quote. Do you believe that label goes far enough to prevent the tweet's harms when the tweet is still visible and not accurate? I do, because it's not just the surface level label. It points to a collection of news articles, of information and conversation that gives you an expansion on what's happening with the election. I guess you see my concerns are that these tweets arouse people. And it seems to me that uh, the entity that runs this operation ought to have an understanding that when there is a major situation uh, that the tweets can play a unique role in either reassuring or stirring people up. Well, I, I agree in spirit. I mean, our, our policy is focused on uh, misleading information around the election and the civic process to provide greater context, to provide additive information so that people can make decisions around um, what's happening within the election. And that is three phases. That's the run up to the election. That's election day. Um, and also uh, the phase we're in right now, post-election. So our policies and enforcement are focused on providing more information, more context to people in those three phases.